If you're looking for a video editing program that's totally free and has a lot of features and has no watermark, you've probably heard of DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is totally free and has 95% of the paid version of DaVinci Resolve Studio. Well, what's the catch? You probably wondered that. And that's what I'm about to discuss in today's video. Hi, I'm Justin from Random Tech Videos, and before I get into this video, if you think you would like Random Tech Videos, please consider subscribing to this channel. I built my PC, I've reviewed some tech products and stuff like that. Also, please give this video a like if you think you might enjoy it. With that out of the way, let's just get right back into the video. So as I was saying, DaVinci Resolve has a totally free version. And you might be wondering, in fact, you probably are wondering if you clicked on this video, what is the catch with the free version? I'm about to show you. So I'm about to open a project right here, as you can see. Okay, this is the one where I built my first PC. So this project is fairly complex, 4K30, so it's not 4K60 or anything. But so if I go here and then I press play, it seems to play okay. But then if I go like this, see how it keeps glitching out and everything, and it does not play very well at all. Some parts play okay if they've buffered. But the problem is that, as you can see, it keeps having problems. That's because the free version of Resolve does not have GPU acceleration for common codecs such as H.264 and H.265, which are like the two most common video codecs. Whereas in the paid version, you can see for the most part it's playing totally smoothly, with some exceptions, but you can see it's playing much more smoothly than it was before. Of course there will be still some glitches and no video editor is perfect. But that is a huge difference with the paid version and the free version. I don't have time right now to show you every difference, like there are some extra tracking and AI features, but the main thing that most of you looking into DaVinci Resolve will want is the GPU accelerations. So that's really what makes it usable versus unusable. You need the GPU acceleration, especially if you have a weaker system. You saw that playback on my system was somewhat okay without the GPU acceleration. Okay, maybe you didn't notice, but it was somewhat okay. That's because I have a 12 core Ryzen 9 5900X. If I had anything less, it would hardly play at all without the GPU acceleration. True, I do have a 3080 Ti, so it makes a big difference, but even if you have something like a 1660 or 2060 or the AMD equivalent, it will make a huge difference compared to what the default is without any GPU being used to decode those codecs. If you're only editing 720p or 1080p, it may be less noticeable, but if you're editing 4K, I hate to say it, but I think you need a studio version. So there you go. That's the catch with the free version of Resolve. If this video was helpful or informative, please give it a like, please consider subscribing, and until my next tech video, goodbye and thank you for watching.